Hello to all, welcome back to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we are going to connect to the Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible server through Azure Data Studio. So if we consider the playlist of PostgreSQL flexible server, in the first video we have studied how we can create the database through Azure portal and in this video, we are going to connect to that database, create tables, query data using Azure Data Studio. If we go to the official documentation for the PostgreSQL, we have the quick starts. Under the quick starts, we have the section to create the database, that is the server in the database. So then here, we do not have the option to connect and query using Data Studio. But we have a separate documentation. If we go here to the SQL Server 2022, here under the quick starts for the Azure Data Studio documentations, we have to connect and query PostgreSQL. So this documentation we are going to use to connect to the PostgreSQL database using Azure Data Studio. So here we have the prerequisites. Prerequisites is that we have to have Azure Data Studio. If it's not there, use this hyperlink to install Azure Data Studio. If we click over it, it will give us the Data Studio download links on Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Let's go back here. Then we have to install the PostgreSQL extension for Azure Data Studio. So since we already have Azure Data Studio, we'll try to open it. This is the first page of Azure Data Studio. We don't have any servers configured yet. Under the connections, we have the servers option where we have to create a new connection. But before this, let's go back to the documentation. We have Data Studio. We will enable PostgreSQL extension for this. And then it is written to install PostgreSQL. We are going to use the same PostgreSQL database, which we have created through Azure portal. So let's go to the database. Here we are in Azure portal and we created Azure database for Postgre flexible server named as CK Postgre. The server related details are given here, server name and admin login name. This is what we are going to use in this video. Okay, let's go back and the steps are now shown. First, we have to start Azure Data Studio. Then we have to go to the connection section here and add a new connection. In the form type, we have to select PostgreSQL from the drop down. Let's go to the Data Studio and we'll click on this new connection. From the new connection, details, we have to select the connection type from the drop down as PostgreSQL. But now we could not see the PostgreSQL option here. Why? Because the extension is not installed. In order to install extension, which is a prerequisite here, install the PostgreSQL extension, we could open this link. And in order to install it, we have to go to the extension icon and type PostgreSQL, the extension will be installed. So we'll go here to the extensions in the Azure Data Studio and here we'll search for Postgre and we'll get this option Postgre SQL extension for Azure Data Studio. Just click over it and click over this install button. Installing this extension is getting installed. It's installed. Okay. So here in the output we can see that it's installed. Right. We'll go back to the connections in the servers and we'll again click on connection details that is to add a new connection in the connection type we'll select now PostgreSQL this option will appear we'll select it server name so since we are going to use the Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible server we'll copy from the overview page the server name just copy the name paste here authentication type it will be password because we created it using PostgreSQL authentication will give the username. The username is CK PostgreSQL. So we'll paste it. We'll give the password. Click on remember password. Give it a name. CK. Give it a name. It's optional. Postgre SQL DB. And click on connect. We could see that it's connected. Here we could see the green mark and we could see that CK PostgreSQL DB is connected, the name which we have given here. The databases which are present inside it are shown. These are the inbuilt databases and the three databases which are shown in the PostgreSQL DB. 
Okay, let's go back to the documentation. We'll go back here in the quick start. So we have connected to the PostgreSQL database. Next is to create a database. Okay, so we'll just copy this command create database tutorial DB. We'll go back and here we'll click on new query so that we can execute a SQL query. We'll just paste it and we'll click on run. Command completed successfully and here under the databases if we click on this refresh we could see here tutorial db is created okay new database is created now next is we can create tables but before that we have to change the connection here change connection to tutorial db database is selected as postgres we'll change it to tutorial db which we have just created and we will now take the command here uh, to drop existing table customers and create a new table. So we'll just copy that command and paste here. We are creating a table named as customer with column names, customer ID, name, location and email. We have selected the correct database. We'll click on run. And in the data studio, we can see that this command also executed successfully. Next is to insert rows into it. Just copy the command, paste here. Let the database selected be tutorial DB and click on run. This command also completed successfully. Now we'll query the data by giving select star from the customer table. We'll click on run and we could see here the four columns and the values which we have inserted. Okay. So this is how we can connect to the PostgreSQL database using Azure Data Studio. So the prerequisites are to have Azure Data Studio, then Azure Database for PostgreSQL Flexible Server. Here we are using, you can use your PostgreSQL database connection also. Then the extension has to be installed. Okay. Give the connection details and then you are good to go. Thank you for watching this video. Do let me know in comments if you face any issue in configuring your database into Data Studio. Happy learning. Bye.